Now, you recorded more than a year ago as saying, and this is a direct quote, right now it's a good bet that you can take millions from us and chances are that you're not going to get caught, unquote. Is that still, as we speak here today, still the case? Well, I can tell you there are 100 people who early last week didn't think they were going to get caught, and they got arrested on Friday morning. Morris is referring to Friday, July 16, 2010, when hundreds of federal and local law enforcement officials, led by agents from the Office of the Inspector General, fanned out across the country and rounded up 94 individuals in five cities. More boxes of evidence, more suspicious storefronts. They even found several senior citizens who had been delivered expensive motorized wheelchairs, even though none of them needed a wheelchair. Don't need a wheelchair. Some strangers came. They said that it was ordered for me and uh, what kind of wheelchair I wanted. It was later discovered that it was all a ruse to gain access to their Medicare ID numbers. And so he sat down and uh, wrote me up, told me to give me the military card. Then I signed my name, and then he gave me the chair. You never went to your doctor and said, I need a chair. And this no. guy just showed up with a chair. Yeah, I showed up. See, I'm a veteran. I told the man, I said, I'm a veteran, man. And you look like you I get don't around need. pretty good. I said, I don't need no chair. This was the biggest health care fraud crackdown in the history of the Medicare program. Well, let's talk about this big crackdown. You've had the largest crackdown in the history of your operation? That's correct. In cities around the country, including Brooklyn, New York, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Miami, Houston, Detroit, uh, we arrested almost 100 people who were involved in different types of Medicare scams. Collectively, they were responsible for over $250 million in false claims submitted to our program. Uh, so the efforts we have made with our partners at the Department of Justice, the heat strike forces, are really starting to pay off. Now tell me about Brooklyn. I understand a, a Russian mob was involved there? Yeah, a Russian mob was running a very sophisticated uh, crime scheme, including a, a back room that we had under surveillance where beneficiaries were going back to get their kickback payments. It was called the kickback room. Uh, and they were getting $100, $150 every time they came in on the pretext that they were getting medical services. Of course, the Medicare program got billed for that care, uh, and the, the Russian immigrant population got paid kickbacks to play along. There's even a poster that we took down as part of our search uh, that instructed people, don't gossip, don't tell anybody about this in Russian. Right. 